Did you know that in Vintage Story, there are 37 mushroom species to find while exploring currently as of version 1.16? I've been having a really good time playing it, and what feels like a huge contributing factor is its atmospheric wilderness and the variety of mushrooms that can spawn within it. So, as a mushroom enthusiast, I embarked upon an expedition to find and document all of them. It is important to know when starting Vintage Story that some of these mushrooms are poisonous while others are safe to eat, so when you're out there in the great big world surviving, it is good not to eat anything dangerous by accident. Before we start, please do not apply anything said in this video to real life. Mushroom identification can be dangerous, and this is just a fun video. There are four categories of potential environments mushrooms appear in near deciduous trees, coniferous trees, tropical environments, and open grassy plains, while others have a chance to appear anywhere. Some of these will grow on the forest floor, while others are found on the tree trunks themselves. The first mushrooms we'll look at can only be found under deciduous trees. These are trees with leaves, as opposed to coniferous, which have needles. Some examples of these are oak trees and maple trees. So let's start. Devil Bullet, sometimes called Satan's Bullet. Don't let the name mislead you. I was surprised to find that this mushroom actually is edible. It is a large mushroom with a white cap and a red stem. Orange Oak Bullet. This large attractive species is safe to eat and easy to spot. Violet Web Cap. This mushroom is quite the sight and is edible, though further reading into its real life counterpart suggests against gathering them for consumption due to poisonous lookalikes. Black Trumpet. Looking like the goth version of the well known chanterelle, these bad boys surprisingly are edible. Gold Drop Milk Cap. Do not be fooled by this one's sweet sounding name, for they are poisonous. Witch Hat Mushroom. These are cute. Named after their resemblance to a witch's hat, these surprisingly are safe to eat. Shiitake. Found on the sides of trees, these well-known mushrooms are not only edible, but their real-life counterparts are used in various traditional medicine. Bearded Tooth. An interesting sight, and indeed edible. These hairy shroomies have no stock, and are considered exceptionally tasty. Tinder hoof, another aptly named mushroom, for they not only look like a hoof and are hard to touch, but in real life are functionally used as tinder. These next mushrooms are found only under coniferous trees like pines, spruce, and firs, and are as follows. Earth ball, looking like little potatoes, these common mushrooms are poisonous and in real life get people into a lot of trouble for they appear similar to many other edible species. Saffron milk cap. These are a very popular mushroom in real life. If you find them in your vintage story travelings, feel welcome to consume them. Devil's tooth mushroom. Dear friends, let me tell you, I can barely look at this species real life counterpart and you would not be mistaken to assume they are dangerous. Some people think their fruiting droplets look like blood, while others think strawberries and cream. Do not consume these. Elfin saddle. A poisonous snack, but very cool in real life. The species shoots pores out of their caps rather than the spores just falling from underneath like most species. Funeral Bell. Also known by the ominous name Deadly Skullcap, it is extremely poisonous. Be wary, for they look rather unassuming. White Oyster. These beautiful looking mushrooms that grow in groups are considered very savory. In real life, they are often used in soups and stir fries. Rishi mushroom. Used for thousands of years in medicinal medicine, we will have no problem consuming these in vintage story. Chicken of the woods. A very nice find and particularly delicious in real life. This mushroom has a meaty texture and genuinely does taste like chicken. Next are the few mushrooms that appear specifically in tropical environments. Pink Bonnet. Ah, oh, so cute, but don't trust them. It is a clever deception. Do not eat these. Liver Mushrooms. Also known as beef steak, it is named after its resemblance to raw meat. Deer Ear. Whoever is naming these mushrooms is very clever. 
Also going by tree ear, they do indeed resemble ears. This species is edible. Next up are the mushrooms of the grassy plains. Red wine cap. This edible mushroom is considered easy to identify in real life and even has an enthusiastic fan base of growers. Puffball. Even referred to as the giant puffball, in real life, I've admittedly mistaken this edible shroomy as merely a rock. Field mushroom or meadow mushroom is edible in vintage story, but in real life are considered a tough mushroom to forage for, whose identification can be frustrating due to lookalikes. The following mushrooms are found under any of the two tree types and have the largest variety. King Bullet. These guys are big and deserve their name for they are a much wanted prize for real life mushroom hunters. Bitter Bullet. This brown capped mushroom's real life counterpart is indeed very bitter and it is poisonous. Fly Agaric, the icon. In real life, they've made themselves known from fantastical legends, the origin of Santa Claus, even used by shamans in some cultures for hallucinations. Do not eat these. Almond Mushroom. Named after its unique aroma and flavor similar to almonds, this mushroom is edible. Patty Straw. Although edible, be wary, for this mushroom is very similar in appearances to the next mushroom on this list. Deathcap. Also known as the world's deadliest mushroom, will appropriately, in vintage story, negate a whopping negative 50 HP off of your character. Chanterelle. A most lovely edible mushroom. You will have an easy time spotting these by their bright orange color. Indigo milk cap. One of the more unique mushrooms to spawn in vintage story. These edible mushrooms are indeed indigo and very beloved finds in the mushroom world of real life. Common morel. A personal favorite of mine. I searched for a long time in real life to find my first morels, but thankfully we can enjoy their appearance in vintage story without all the trouble. They're considered very delicious. Lobster mushroom. Did you know that these are not mushrooms, but a parasitic fungus that grows upon mushrooms and turns them orange? It's very interesting. They are edible though. Jack-o'-lantern. Growing in often huge clusters, these mushrooms are highly toxic and deserve their spooky namesake. Dryad saddle, often called pheasant back, are named after the cap's resemblance to the feathers of a pheasant and are often considered an underrated edible mushroom amongst foragers. Pink oyster. This mushroom's real life counterpart is a glorious pink when young, but as it matures, it becomes a much more toned down pink. It's edible. Green cracked rosula. Green check, cracked check, edible check. And that is all the mushrooms currently in Vintage Story as of making this video. Thank you so much for watching. This video is very fun to make. Have a nice day.